hello guys hello guys welcome back to good show tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix street fighter 6 is having slow motion issue or street fighter 6 is having slow mo problem when you're trying to launch the game or when you're trying to play the game down the road you're having all of trouble so how we can fix this sir so let's dive into the work area the first one all you have to do is you just have to run the game on dedicated graphics card and this is what you have to do for that you just need to go over here in the search and the first you have to search for graphics settings now from here as you can see i have already added one of the game that's called amnesia the bunker same way we need to add the game for that just click on the browse now from here first you have to go to local disk c now go to this pc go to local disk c now from here go to program file x86 keep scrolling down and navigate to steam folder once again go to steam apps go to common Now from here go to Street Fighter 6 from here you have to select this one and go for it and add it Now as you can see this is successfully added so just click on the option and first thing is we need to set this to high performance So you can either keep this to let windows aside but that will not be fix the issue change this to high performance and go for save Once you save this you just need to close this and go back try launch the game If this is not working we have to move to the next step that is all about we have to turn off the v sync in the game and we have to lower down the graphics settings for that we just need to launch the game first before that let me mute this up so i'll be muting the sound now i need to launch the game so just launch the game and i'll be showing you how to turn off the v sync and also the most important thing is we need to lower down the graphics so it is an important one we need to lower down the graphics So uh, there are many things which we need to lower down like you know we need to lower down uh, the window mode it's uh, the fps should be locked as well as we have to do many things so all those things will be completely mentioned over here so just wait for this once the game is successfully launched just follow the instruction over here in the this one so just press any key Okay now we need to press tab to navigate to this one and go to options now from here we have options like game controls camera display audio language and graphics the first one what we need to do is we just need to go to graphics over here and the first thing what we need to make a change is we need to go over here and the first one is all about the quality can be turned to high low etc is there so you can set this to high so i have set this to high and move to the next one is all about the resolution so my windows default resolution is 19201080 we can either set into 1280720 or 3663667768 1600900 or many other options are there but keep in this one 19201080 is the best one now go to the graphics settings and over here in the best graphics settings here we have many options like fighting grounded background object can be grounded internal resolution is fine the windowed mode can be changed into many options so i'll go for windowed mode is the best one you can keep this to windowed mode and the maximum frame rate that is the fps should be 60 and the ambient occlusion should be on screen space reflections can be on motion blur is on it is not an issue and over here if you find v sync this should be turned on i mean this should be turned off this is an important step most probably when you turn off the v sync and you try to play the game this will be working out make sure the v sync v sync is completely turned off once after that go back to the next one and over here lighting quality texture quality all these can be set into high not highest you can either keep this to high not the highest so high can depends on the pc's configuration for me this is not a uh, issue because i'm having a 32 gb of ram and the uh, the processes are good so for me this is not an issue but this will not be same for everyone so you need to configure according to your pc's configuration once you set this up you just need to go back just go back and once you save this up just exit to the desktop and go back and now move to the next step next step is all about we need to install the graphics card for that we just need to go over here and i'll be providing both nvidia for the nvidia users they can land, uh, this will be provided in the description 
the AMD users can go over here as well. The NVIDIA users, they just need to go over here, select everything like product type, product series, product, operating system, language, etc. Over here, you have to select everything. Hence, I'm in Windows 11, I have to select the respective one. Now go for start search. You'll be getting the latest rolled out versions from here. That is 531.98, which is the released date on 13th of May 2023. So just download this one and install this on your PC and restart is a mandatory one. If you're on the AMD, just go over here, select everything over here. Now from here, go to submit. Now over here, you can see if you're on Windows 11, just download this one. If you're on Windows 10, you need to download this one. Once after that, restart your PC and this is what you have to do. Next one is all about after this, we need to disable or integrate a graphics card if it's already there. For that, we just need to go over here, right click and go to the task manager. Sorry, uh, not task manager, right click and go to device manager. Now from here, go to display and adapters. So right now I'm not have, I'm only having one for that's not the case. But for those users who are watching this, they'll be having two sometimes. If that is the case, you have to disable one. The integrated graphics card should be disabled. And once after that, we need to uh, low, uh, play the game. After this, that's going to work for you as well. The last and the least one is all about, you have to try native resolution. For that, just go over here in the search, go to settings. Now from here, we have to go to system, go to display. Now from here, you just need to make sure, as you can see, the display resolution, the native resolution is 19201080, which I already recommended in the video. You can set the game into this same resolution and try to play the game. That's going to work for you as well. So these are the possible workarounds that you can be try out. And I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye-bye.